what's going on YouTube so today I found a an outdoor work case from a uh, excuse this pronunciation Jing Gang Yu but uh, I went and picked it up and uh, I'm gonna show it to y'all and uh, let's do a review on it so I picked up this case and uh, funny thing was is I never did get it so I ordered it early uh, towards the end of July coming into August and it never did come so I went ahead and uh, contacted them and I was gonna initially cancel the order cuz you know I just I didn't know if I even wanted it so they got a hold of me and they you know said there's a problem with the mail or something and they they got one to me like the next day uh, but looking at this when I got it I'm like this is for the Z flip it says package says it's for the Z flip and so, you know, I was, you know, a little PO'd <laughs> to say the least, yep, Z Flip. And the uh, picture shows the Z Flip. So, of course, you know, I was like, well, let me at least open it up and see what we got. And then uh, as soon as I did, I seen the corner. And I'll show it to y'all right here. It says Z Fold. So, they said that uh, they have been getting these cases out as fast as they can. I'm sure they're having some. Uh, difficulty on it but it really hasn't diminished the product at all and they added this note in here and uh, I'm just going to kind of zoom in and let y'all pause and read it if you want I was going to go read through it all but I'm just going to kind of skip through it basically what they were saying is that the the glass that they wanted to have on there wasn't going to work so they've actually found a replacement tempered glass and, and they've included it in there uh, I'm not going to put the temper glass on today uh, just because I do so many reviews and uh, it wouldn't be fair to have temper glass on my phone for other cases. But man, look at this case. This is what I want to see. So this is a metal case. It is pretty, uh, pretty slick. And they got this, uh, it looks like a neoprene. They call it a... Let me see what they actually call it. A hyper, they, they actually call it a hyperelastic silicone, which sandwiches it between the, between the phone and, you know, the uh, metal frame. Now here's these two tempered glasses right here. And then here's the other side of that frame. And I could tell you right now, guys, this is a heavy frame. It's got that neoprene. I'm just going to call it neoprene because uh, that's kind of what exactly what it feels like. You know what that soft neoprene feels like? This is what it feels like. And it's pretty amazing. It's got air pocket cushions in there and it's solid. I mean, I feel like I could probably throw this thing at the wall with my phone in it and probably be all right. Now they say they've drop tested it in many different ways and, and it'll withstand at least a six foot drop without damaging the phone. Uh, I'm not gonna test that today, but uh, I thought I'd put that out there. They give you some extra screws, a little Allen key, a little tiny screwdriver, and they actually show you how to put this together on this little piece of paper here. So basically what you wanna do is you wanna unscrew the frame, piece it onto your phone, and then screw it back on, and they tell you which direction to, to go, and and all that good stuff, but I figure I'd at least show it to you just in case yours doesn't have it. And if you're just wondering, so you wanna go in one direction and work your way all the way around. And it says, uh, do not over tighten the screws. So, you know, you don't wanna damage your phone by it being too tight or causing it to crack. But, you know, I'll, I'll kinda show you all. You just kinda screw it in there, get it, get them started and then you just kind of go through and just give them a little snug a snug turn to it now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put this on now this one right here I kind of fitted it you can't pop it on like a like the other cases I do but this one since there's nothing restricting it and it's kind of free moving I'm gently just gonna slide this one on I'm not gonna undo that one and it just it, it slides on really really good so and since it's that soft neoprene, I know it's not going to scratch it or anything like that. So that side I just slid on this side. You know, you could try to slide it on, 
but with that camera bump on there it's just not gonna work so I figure I'll show you guys you know look at you know you just won't be able to to get it to slide on so you know we're gonna have to take this off and it'll be good for the video so y'all understand and we'll take a look at it too while we have it off what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and uh, undo all these and we're gonna go ahead and do the movie magic and we'll speed this up quite a bit and you're just gonna want to just unscrew each one don't lose these things are real tiny and it's super easy there's nothing tight about it righty tighty lefty loosey if y'all haven't undone any screws like that before there's the frame and there's the neoprene jacket for it now I'm gonna kind of get that set into place then we're gonna zoom in now I was really surprised to see the quality of this you know this is fairly inexpensive and this is a lot you're getting with this phone and I'm pretty impressed so we could see the edges fit right up right up to the where it should it's not actually gonna inhibit the phone at all when you're touching it it's not like laying on it or it's gonna not, not giving any false you know touches on there and then the corners actually have air pockets you know the pull the corner so that is really good you can see it just fits really good all right we're going to go ahead and get this back on and I'll go ahead and speed this process up too. Little tiny things. So I kind of just kind of get them set into place. I'll probably just start this corner here and just get it barely started. You'll know you'll feel it kind of grabbing when you uh, start turning it. You don't want to tighten uh, tighten these down yet. You just want to kind of get them started. Go ahead and get them all started, and then go ahead and work your way back around, tighten them up. And that way you know uh, it's aligned really good if you go through and you start the first one and tighten it down by the time you get to the end it may not uh, may not tighten up you might not be able to get that screw started but there we go just like that and I tell you what I love the color of this that's why I'm doing this review this way a lot of my friends and my wife she's like it you could see it like all the way across the room you know you know exactly where your phone is i said yeah so i may end up having to get her one too now i'd like to go ahead and kind of check the alignment on this and everything and i can see that the camera bump's got a little bit of a gap to it and i'm not sure what that's all about and then here's the little hinge look at that Let's see how that works. Now that's got a little magnetic hinge on there. You can see a little magnet, a little tiny, a little tiny one. It's just enough to hold the magnet in so it's not popping off. And then we have the fingerprint reader that's really recessed far. But man, this really feels good. And the buttons are also recessed inside the edge there, which is probably it's probably not really a good thing to use it, but it's really good for, for extra protection. Now I'm going to go ahead and get zoomed in on there and kind of show you what I'm talking about, how deep it is. Now, that truly is pretty deep. You can see how far down into that that goes. You're going to have to get your finger or your thumb on that to unlock your phone if you want to use the press. Now, like this, your very tip it won't work, but if you just use your side of your thumb a little bit, it works really good. And that's that Samsung fingerprint reader. You just can't beat it. I mean, basically it's just getting a little portion of your thumb and it's gonna unlock it. So at least that is good to know. And the buttons also do work well too. You just have to get in there and kind of press them a little bit. You know, you're not gonna, you're not gonna be able to press the outside, but you're literally gonna have to kind of reach in and press that button. But this is a heavy duty case. There's no way like I've seen any other cases be able to protect your phone the same way this is. So the aesthetics on this phone are excellent. So what's really happening, this is the, the probably the wireless area where you can wireless charge it, but you, you won't be able to wireless charge this this uh 
This is a metal case and I'm actually going to try to wireless charge it to show you guys just so you don't try to damage your phone. I'd rather damage my phone than and tell y'all and show y'all that it just doesn't work. So that pops on there and it's got a little magnet and just snaps it in place. You don't even have to do that. You just get it a little bit close and it, it dink locks right in for you. That's kind of good to know. Now what I really like is the fit of this. So with this fitted on there, it just looks so good. Unlocks good. And now let's go ahead and take a look and see how it all actually fits together on here. So it makes it very heavy, which is probably a good thing. It's got a lot of protection, that metal. It'll dent. It'll dent the metal before it cracks your screen and it's neoprene all the way around the hinge. So that's super good. And as you open it, so what's happening with that gap on that camera right here on the screen, there's no uh, interruptions with the screen. Let's get in tight on this. And let's see how this is actually working on here. So that the gap is completely close all the way around. Even even the gap right there by the hinge that we'd always see is just gone. And that's that neoprene. That little jacket inside there is actually giving it enough to close the gap. So that is really it's really interesting. Is you're gonna be able to keep dirt and sand out of your phone a little easier. Now what's happening is it's pushing when it's closed like this, it's pushing the case out away from the hinge a little bit, closing that gap. There's not much we can really do about that. Fortunately, when it's opened up, you can adjust it a little bit. So it's gonna make easy, a little bit easier plugging your charger in. Now I do show at the end of this that you can fit an actual, the Amazon plug, you can fit that right in there with it closed like this, so that's good. And then with, with it opened up and adjusted a little bit, you can plug anything into it. Shouldn't be no problem. This is just a really good looking phone. It tells you it's drop resistant and dust resistant and uh, shock proof. And it, I, I feel like in my hands it would be. Of course I had to get the, the yellow one to wipe it off. Slightly a little bit lighter paint on the end there maybe, but you know, this is one of the better looking cases I've uh, ever seen for the Z Fold. And this does come in multiple colors. I chose the yellow, you know, for the type of work I do. You know, I'd like to be able to see my phone from far away if I ever do set it down. And even at home. So this is the Amazon plug right here I want to show you guys. Now this just plugs right in. And there's not really many issues with it. Let me get zoomed in here and I'll show you guys. And then I'll show you also how it adjusts when you open it up. What's happening is that pressure, that hinge is kind of just forcing it out a little bit. And it fits right in there, just, just, just fine. And it's a little tight, but at least it does fit. Go ahead and get some power on this thing and show y'all. It's not even, not even that hard to put in. Now with that opened up though, Let me kind of show you guys what I'm talking about as far as how you can, you know, maybe make some adjustments on it. But that is a, is such a good fit and, it's, and it looks really good. It's really something, uh, something to see. <laughs> it's been a while since we had some nice colorful cases. It's been a long time since I've had a, a full frame metal case on a phone. Look at that. That is really good. I really like it. You could feel that when you squeeze it, you could feel that that, that uh, neoprene in there, that elastic rubber they call it, but feels like neoprene to me. Alright, so when you open this thing up, you can see, look at the, all the gaps changed. 
So you can kind of squeeze it in, just give it a little bit extra. And then as you start to close it, you can see that the hinge kind of pushes it away a little bit slightly. And as you do, it kind of rolls out a little bit. And that's probably just because it fits, you know, the way it fits, the way it locks in there. You know, if, if, you, if it was butted up that tight, they'd have to have them edges beveled out and it probably wouldn't work as well. So you can just simply watch, push it in just a hair. There you go. No big deal. Now you really just need to do it when it's open like this or, you know, partially open. But that would be simply the best way to do that. It's not really a, it's not really a big deal. It's not a deal breaker for me. You know, I'm going to show you guys the wireless charging. Bottom line is you're not going to be wireless charging on there. You may be able to get it to work, but you know, wireless charging through a metal frame on your phone is not a good idea at all. You know, it's not, not going to end well, but just to show you guys, here's my Samsung charger, my wireless charger. Here's another phone I got. It works good. Just put it right on. And you know, I want to show you this and I want to show you the light underneath. That's the charger light. Let you know that it's charging. And there we go. I'm going to brick my phone. So it says it's going to start charging. But then uh, this Samsung charger right here shuts down. And it tells you there's an error. It's not going to let me charge it. So I'm going to go ahead and just take it off so I don't smoke the phone. Oh. Uh, Look guys, it's not coming on. Well, here we go. <laughs> just joking. But, <laughs> but you know, it could be just simply, simply just like that. So, you know, don't, don't use wireless charger. And this, uh, and this is a Samsung wireless charger. I've done a review on it. Many, many people love it. So if you want to see that review, hop on over to the channel. And uh, it is a very, very good, very good charger. It's got fans inside there that cool the, the back of your phone while it's charging. Actually really increases the charge speed over time. So it's something uh, something really good. But you know, this, is, uh, this has been a, a really fun review. I hope you all enjoy this case. It comes in a lot of colors. I'll be dropping some links below. Uh, if you guys could, please give me a like and subscribe. And... If you have any questions or comments you know just post them in there i try to personally answer all the uh posts and it's just it's been fun doing this review right here i hope y'all enjoy this case and this color and i'll be using this for the next week or two just to make sure i got a good feel of it make sure there's no problems but i'm not anticipating any also i have a lot of other cases coming out i'm trying to find some cases outside the box here that people may not be uh taking a look at you know, such as cases like this right here. But uh, y'all stay tuned. There's going to be plenty, plenty, plenty coming. Now, uh, this has been my review, and I will drop some links below. And until next time, we will see you later.